Hi Gemini, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. Uh, very happy you can join me. This is your February 2016 general monthly forecast. If you'd like a private reading with me, all my website details are down below in the description box. Okay, so I'm just going to hone into your energy, Gemini. Universe Spirit, show me what's coming in for Gemini. Those born under sun, moon and rising signs, please. Gemini, Gemini, February 2016. Show me what's coming in for Gemini, February 2016. Show me Gemini, February 2016. What is coming in for the zodiac sign of Gemini for February 2016? Show me the two cards from the top, which will represent the general energy. One from the bottom, information advice. And eight in the middle, which will represent situations, events, people coming into Gemini's life in the year 2016 and the month February. Show me Gen Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. What can you see happening for Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising signs? Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising signs for February 2016. Show me Gemini, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. February 2016, show me. Show me Gemini. February 2016, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun, show me. Okay, I've shoveled the cards. I'm going to cut them into three. Put them back up. And let's find out. Okay. Right, just give me a moment to absorb this. Um, I feel in part that this might be something to do with a relationship for some of you Geminis. And I feel in part that this is something to do with work. Because we do have four pentacle cards showing up here in your reading. No, five, five, including the general energy card. There are five pentacle cards showing up. So that's quite a large amount of pentacle cards in the reading, considering that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. Out of those eleven, there are five that are pentacle cards. And the rest are an amalgamation of uh, major cards and cups and wands. Um... Your general energy or the general advice is the moon. And I feel that this is really strongly telling you to pay attention to your intuition. Okay, because the moon can also be um, a guide. It can also provide us as a source of intuition and as a source of um, self-knowing, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, it can also provide a lot of clarity by the light of the silvery moon, as it were. Um, so I feel that you guys... Uh, potentially will be seeking some type of clarity there's something uh, quite deep that you want to get to the heart of I feel in the month of February 2016 um, some of you guys might be feeling troubled by something which the moon card can often indicate um, it's wanting resolution with the moon card I don't see depression here with this reading which the moon card can also mean and I don't feel um i don't necessarily feel that there are secrets as such but i do feel that you are needing um to clear the path and to clear the way in february okay just so you can see the bigger picture on a particular situation your general energy is showing up as the seven of pentacles and also the eight of cups Seven of Pentacles is often a card of where we've planted seeds, where we've really invested everything into a certain emotion, into a certain project, and we're waiting for something to happen with that. So we're waiting to get our reward for whatever we've planted. We're waiting for our reward for hard work. Seven of Pentacles is all about hard work. But as with all the sevens in the tarot, they're also about kind of the um, conflict and resolution, if that makes sense to you. Uh, so if you look to charity usually represents the 
seven, uh, the pip cards that are number seven, okay? Chariot is the major arcana card that represents uh, conflicting energies and trying to harness those things and move them forward. Self-evaluation. And the seven of pentacles really is no difficult, no different, because it's all about a guy who puts all these pentacles on a tree and he's wondering what do i do next or uh, is you know i've put all the, I've, I've planted the seeds now i'm waiting for this thing to grow so when's it going to grow so it's trying to seek clarity okay it's trying to seek some kind of um some kind of uh trying to be clear on a situation okay he's evaluating where he is and he's wondering if he should wait for this to grow or maybe just do something else so he's wondering if he should carry on investing his time into this project. But it seems that for some of you guys, uh, with the Eight of Cups showing next door, I feel the general energy is really it's whether you should stay or go with the situation. That's what I'm feeling here um, within the month. And this is why the Moon card shows up as well. For some of you guys, it's a real, it could be an intense month for you, I feel, potentially. There could be something intense happening here. Uh, in terms of, uh, I don't see intensity in terms of career as such. But I see uh, intensity perhaps in terms of a, a relationship with someone, potentially. Um, but it, it is funny because I, the moon card to me always suggests clarity on a situation trying to find our way through the fog it's also real deep intense feelings on a matter as well i mean deep down to your core uh it's also trying to seek answers potentially as well with the moon card if you notice with this card this woman is holding up a, a fire she's trying to light her way through she's trying to seek answers seek clarity and Potentially for some of you guys, you could be doing that. We do have the Nine of Pentacles showing as your first card. It's real abundance it's showing us um, in February. The Nine of Pentacles is about uh, independence, self-reliance, um, knowing that you can do things by yourself, knowing that you can achieve a level of security. It's all about security, abundance, material security. If you look at this woman here, She's dressed very fine. Excuse me, guys. She's dressed very, very fine. The nicest clothes, nicest makeup. She's walking through a gateway with pentacles all over that, uh, all, all over the door. You know, she's wealthy. She has what she wants. She's made her own wealth. She's made her own abundance. Um, and this could be why you're seeking clarity, because... Uh, the Seven of Pentacles is something you've invested in, but the Eight of Cups is do I walk away from it, which means that whatever you've invested in is not harvesting what you wanted as quickly as you wanted it to, um, Gemini. So this is why we see the Moon card. It could literally be kind of you guys feeling a little bit down about that, maybe, and trying to find a way to either change a situation, potentially to do with whatever it is that you've invested in, whether it's emotionally, materially, or whether you should just kind of call it quits. And that's the kind of conundrum that you're in, I feel, for February. Uh, because you do want real success with the Nine of Pentacles, and I can see success here, but it takes application uh, within this month. So for some of you guys, it will be real abundance and success because we've got the Nine of Pentacles there. But we've also got the Six of Cups showing up and the six of cups is often a card that is rooted in the past but in terms of um in the now i mean if you looked at the six of cups just as a card on its own it could mean so many things usually if you get it in reverse it means somebody who's stuck in the past usually when it's upright it means somebody that reminisces about the past potentially but this can also be a card where one is looking at things uh from a um from a rose tinted glasses view so it's not quite real it's the way that you want to see it potentially um and it also suggests a certain type of naivety as well okay 
with that card. Uh, could be also be to do with children. That Six of Cups as well. Family home, potentially. So maybe some of you guys are making money within your family home, making money in a familiar environment maybe um, within uh, the month of February. There's a lot of focus with this as well because we've got the Three of Pentacles here, the focus card. On the Witch's Tarot, it's all about application and applying yourself, applying focus to a project, okay, trying to uh, progress, making progress with a, a project, but this is through your own hard work and determination with that Three of Pentacles. And I feel that you are very focused on a project uh, being successful, but it's a lot of hard work for you. And there might be some kind of um, doubt that creeps in, I think. But you shouldn't have any doubt because we do have the Ten of Pentacles here as well, which is an excellent card. So for some of you guys and the Nine of Pentacles, some really good cards, financial cards, Gemini showing up here. So for some of you guys, it will literally be, I feel, that you are um, really moving up in terms of your finances with that Nine of Pentacles and then the Ten of Pentacles. You're really kind of earning money and you're feeding it back into the family home. Because we've also got that Six of Cups there, which is about the home, family home, and also the Ten of Pentacles where one is sharing their resources. So we're seeing a lot of resources being shared here in terms of the Nine of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, and also that Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. A lot of application. It's funny how we have three pentacle cards together plus the Six of Cups. So I feel that we're looking at real progress or you're trying to make real progress with something here. And it's probably something to do with the past or something to do with... Uh, uh, for example, it, some of it could be uh, potentially to do with writing or a creative endeavour because the Six of Cups can sometimes relate to childhood pastimes, being creative. These kids are being quite creative together. Okay, they're sitting on grass, but they're, you know, they're just mucking about and playing with stuff and they're enjoying the sunlight. So I feel that this is perhaps the creative endeavour that you lot have put, some of you have put your real effort into and you're looking to have some kind of um, reward for it, for all your hard work. For some of you guys, it might literally be that you're working on a new project within the workplace because we do have the Ten of Pentacles there, can refer to a workplace. Lots of different generations of people and three of pentacles can relate to working within teams within the workplace. So for some of you guys, it could literally be where you are so applied to a project within your um, working environment. We're also seeing the temperance card. This is usually a card of healing or trying to balance something else or trying to work something through. This is what this card is usually about. It's trying to achieve um, an even keel with the Temperance card. It's funny how he sits next to the King of Wands though. So for some of you guys, it could be a relationship that you literally kind of are having to assess or calling on. Because the Temperance card is about being kind of cool. It can also be a card about reconciliation too. A reconciled romance. But it's also, I feel with the King of Wands, it's almost like there is something that has dampened the passion, the red within that card. It's almost like something that you're needing to kind of uh, make a decision on or take your time to kind of work out for some of you guys in the month of, February 2016 for you Taurus people, Taurus, sorry, for you Gemini people, potentially. I'm also seeing potentially some power games going on here, maybe, within the workplace with some of you. Because the Temperance card can often be the card of uh, calling on someone or calling something down. 
the king of wands is fire he's very virulent uh virile sorry he's very passionate he's a go-getter and he's also someone who kind of likes to get his own way a lot of the time he's not particularly serious about relationships a lot of the time that king of wands despite what other people say i've seen this guy turn up in many a reading where he looks just like a player And I feel that the strength card is a woman trying to contain or trying to calm a man who's trying to be in control of a man. So maybe for some of you guys, it's literally a case of where you're trying to maybe control a wayward partner or there's some kind of power trip involved here between you and someone else. And it would show on that seven of pentacles. Do you carry on investing your time in a particular relationship? Or do you end up walking away with the Ace of Cups? And maybe that's what you need the resolution on with the Moon card. For some of you guys, uh, you'll be gaining control, real control in terms of your finances, in terms of a work opportunity, because we do have that Strength card. And we do have the Ace of Pentacles as well. So perhaps something that you've thought was not achievable now becomes achievable. Ace of Pentacles is a new start often, fresh beginnings in terms of finances. So this could be a new job, a career opportunity, money in the hand, new money coming in. Unexpected money sometimes coming in. But then some of you guys might need some patience as well. You might need patience because the strength card can mean patience as well. So there may be patience needed around something to do with your finances as well with the Ace of Pentacles. And maybe that's why we've got the Temperance card. Temperance can also mean having to be patient and having just to wait and having just to kind of calm your nerves, calm yourself down about something. For some of you guys, it might literally be that you feel that somebody's trying to take advantage of a situation with that King of Wands. And for some of you guys, it will literally be a case of, I feel, that you don't have the go-ahead with something as yet. The King of Wands likes to zoom into action. But Temperance card is kind of like the calling off that action. Patience with the Strength card. And the Ace of Pentacles is money. Money is coming, if this is an issue for any of you guys, but you need patience around it in February. Some of you guys might be feeling a bit in despair because we do have that moon card. I do feel that some of you guys are going to be working on a big project in February. Maybe for a large organisation. Some of you guys might be single mothers or single parents, sorry, looking after children. And it's funny, some of you guys, I feel, uh, if you're single parents and you're looking after children and you're working at the same time, because I'm looking at this Nine of Pentacles lady, she's quite independent, but there are children next door to her in the Six of Cups. She may work from home. She might be trying to create a lot of money within her family environment because we do have that Ten of Pentacles also. There's a lot of application there with the Three of Pentacles. But she might be going through a testing time. Some of you guys might be going through a testing time because Temperance can also represent going through a testing time and you're trying to balance out how you feel, your emotions. So you're having to stay strong with the strength card and patient if you're waiting for any finances to develop or to come through. I feel some of you guys are trying to develop something here, maybe from your own home. Because the three of pentacles is often the card that represents development also, progress. So you're trying to progress and develop something, maybe from your own home which you might use as a working environment. But you might need patience waiting for something to come through with that Ace of Pentacles. And maybe that's why we see the Seven of Pentacles showing up there. It's wondering if you should invest any more time or money into something, or should you walk away with the Ace of Cups. And this is the conundrum and what you need some clarity over. 
I think it's a very, very interesting reading. Very interesting, um, Gemini. You'll have to let me know what you get, how you get on. I never really give endings in the tarot readings, so I don't feel it's necessary. I let you guys fill in the gaps, to be honest. But I am seeing some tests that you're having to endure with the temperance card and strength. I am seeing that you guys are, some of you guys are really kind of dedicated to a project that could potentially earn you a lot of money or is about to earn you a lot of money. Some of you guys might be having to balance work and children as well. Some of you guys might have a little bit of a wayward boss or relationship with the King of Wands. Maybe that's what you're needing to be patient over as well, or you're needing to kind of balance out. It might be quite a testing relationship. This person is red. They're on fire. They're the only red that I really see in this reading, and they stand out like a sore thumb. So your advice card for the month, as I said, is the moon card. Get the clarity that you need. Pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to your dreams. And follow your intuition most of all. That's your reading. Uh, like I say, thanks ever so much for joining me, Gemini, and have a great day. Take care.